Hello everyone and welcome to the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the third week of October. First up, the Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation and Philosophia Ventures start joint investment and follow-up management for startups. The Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, or the Gyeonggi CCEI, recently signed a business agreement with the new VC Philosophia Ventures. With the purpose of discovering and investing in startups, Philosophia Ventures is a new domestic VC established in 2022. Focusing on the startup team from the seed stage to series A stage, the company discovers invests in and nurtures startups in various industries such as crypto and the metaverse, B2B software as a service, healthcare, logistics, education, IT, commerce, and AI. An official from the investment team at the Gyeonggi CCEI said, with this agreement, we will actively support startups' investment attraction together with VCs. He added, we will actively match startups with investors from the early stage of their business and help them continue to attract follow-up investment. Next up, Nexon and Lotte World open a large-scale new attraction. Nexon, in partnership with Lotte World Adventure, is opening a new attraction, Kart Rider Racing World, using Kart Rider intellectual property. Kart Rider Racing World, introduced on November 9th, is the third collaboration between Nexon's Kart Rider IP and Lotte World. This is a large-scale new attraction with an area of 1,980 square meters. Lotte World is introducing a kart track where visitors can ride a go-kart and drive 150 meter long track. Both the track and the go-karts are decorated with the illustrations of Kart Rider Drift, the latest work of Kart Rider IP. For our third main story, Urban Sharing Economy launches unmanned cigarette sales with its facial recognition entrance function. Urban Sharing Economy, a social venture company that develops and operates Ice Go, a Korean-style unmanned sales system, upgrades its services with an unmanned alcohol and cigarette vending machine that can sell alcohol and cigarettes together a 24-hour store access system through facial recognition, and a facial recognition entry-exit device selected as a key technology for the Smart Shop Technology Supply Project of the Ministry of Small and Medium Venture Business and the Small Enterprise Market Service. CEO Pak Jin Sok said, with the additional selection of facial recognition entry-exit devices and cigarette vending machines, the Urban Sharing Economy's Small Business Store Project, clerk operated by day on Manda Night, system is expected to grow more. And for our final main story, Altera's facial recognition solution gets International Organization for Standardization certification. Altera announced that its facial recognition solution has passed iBeta's Presentation Attack Detection, or PAD, test in the U.S. It is the first in Korea to get certification for a passive method face recognition solution applicable to general cameras. Altera's facial recognition solution test was conducted with a camera with general specifications and with 100% probability. The solution was able to distinguish fake faces disguised as other people. Altera is the first in Korea to get certification for a passive method solution that automatically detects a person's face by applying the function to a general camera instead of a depth camera without requiring specific actions such as face position adjustment. And now let's move on to our news briefs of the week. First up, Nexon reveals nine entries for G-Star 2022. Nexon held a press conference at the 1994 Hall of Nexon Pangyo office building for the Nexon G-Star 2022 preview and introduced detailed information about the nine entries to be presented at the International Game Exhibition G-Star 2022. Nexon will be operating 300 booths, the single largest scale in the BTC Hall from the 17th to the 20th at the G-Star 2022 held in Bexco, Busan. 
Participating offline for the first time in four years, Nexon unveiled its main slogan of the year, Return for the first time. Nexon changed its new game development strategy to selection and focus in 2019, and Return contains Nexon's will to return to the basics and present users with games that have been developed focusing on fun. Next up, Craft On to participate in G Star 2022 for the sixth year in a row. Craft On also announced that it will participate in G Star 2022. Craft On will showcase various game IPs through the Experience Zone and the stage at the BTC Hall, the first exhibition hall in Bexco. The strategy is to meet the expectations of the visitors and to provide a variety of gaming experiences through presenting games made by independent studios with differentiated creative identities centered around Pugby Battleground Crafton's main IP. And finally, KM Solution receives a commendation from the Minister of Science and ICT at the 2022 Korea Digital Innovation Awards. KM Solution, a subsidiary of Kakao Mobility's transportation franchise, received a ministerial commendation at the 2022 Korea Digital Innovation Awards for the management of platform-based temporary taxi driving qualifications. The platform-based temporary taxi driving qualification management system, which received the ministerial commendation, was devised by KM Solution, implemented in Kakao T Blue for the first time in the domestic platform taxi industry in September of 2022 and spread throughout the platform taxi industry. It was highly assessed as such for serving as a positive stepping stone for the inflow of new personnel and the revitalization of the market in the taxi industry for the past two years. And that's it for the Pangio Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.